We have... No, we're out of time. I gotta no, go. No, we have Ray Johns. Ray Johns is here. And he's wearing a Trump shirt, so maybe right. he can try to convince us to vote for Trump. Well, I hope to. I was kicking I you under the table when you're, you know, we were talking about Trump. Like, don't say anything bad. Ray Johns. No, <laughs> I like don't him. know. Okay, so I ride the fence. I like Hillary, I like Bernie, I like Trump, but I'm not crazy over everyone. If I was to vote for someone, it probably would be Trump. However, I don't know. Why should we vote for Trump? I, I look, there's a lot of reasons. What the way Pull I, that I a little closer it, there. there you go. How's that? Is that He's better? got a nice, deep voice. Are know, you a singer cool. or a no, radio no, announcer? not at all. You've not got a great all. voice. I, thank you. What, what I tell people all the time, and I'm a pro scout, I, wear, I have about nine Trump t-shirts. I wear one every single day. I thought, day. does every this guy have another do? shirt? Oh, yeah, every day. So every people day. approach you mm -hmm. and they ask and me ask you. why I'm voting for Trump. Yep. And I, Are they mad at you? Some of them. Okay. You know, some of them. But for the most part, people are pretty positive about it, okay? And I tell them that I don't want another eight years of what we've got with the present administration. You know, I You're mean, not crazy not, about Obama? Not at all. Okay. Not at all, and not about his administration at all. Yeah. You know, I want to see change. I think America needs to see change. We do I think need they need change. to see Absolutely. someone who can run this country. Yeah. You know, and at first people were saying, "Well, he's a businessman. He was an actor. He was a, you know, this and that." I think Donald he was on Trump. The Apprentice. If you will look at his record with his campaign, and I don't mean what the media says, but I mean what he's done. But he's done. He's overcome every single obstacle that they've thrown at him. That's even true. even the GOP, even our party has thrown things at him. Yep. And he's overcome every single bit of that. That's the kind of man I want to see in the White House. As a woman, what's the thing about women and Trump? All these women that I've talked to, not Republicans, like He likes uh, women, he's married quite a few of them. Oh right? my god, exactly. first of all, he, he is on his third or fourth wife and by the way, she is beautiful. Yeah, well, she is. She Russian? Like the I, I don't he, know if she is or not. Not Ivanka, that was the first no, one. No, the one Mel he's currently married to. Melania? Melania. She yeah. is beautiful. She's gorgeous. But all these women are saying he's insulting to women. Why should a woman vote for Trump? Well, he's made some, some remarks that he probably hasn't, you know, shouldn't, shouldn't have made. Have. And I think that, that he... Has he apologized for that? He's apologized for some of them. Some of them he, he has not. But I think people take things and they, it's out of context a lot of Absolutely. You know? The news gives the us a, this much of a whole. Absolutely. Right. People Absolutely. can say, well, we're saying out of this interview and totally yeah, exaggerating. Big things. trouble. Mm -hmm. Big trouble, baby. But Mike the, Briggs, fired. The problem, fired. the problem I have with our own, and I love the GOP party. I do. Like I said, I've been a Republican for 40 years now, is that there were people who actually stood up at the second debate and said, we're going to back whoever the, the GOP nominee is. Well, it happens to be Trump, and now we've got three major politicians who are saying they're not going to back him. Those are the people we need. We need the people on the national scales. We need the big hitters, okay? We need that the will back, that, that will, will back, back Trump, as G well as us small people, you know? Back up the GOP. Say Absolutely. That three times. Absolutely. Unless, I mean, what's the alternative? Like Trump, by the, way. the alternative yes. is Donald Trump or when Hillary or Hillary Clinton, which yeah. is another eight years of this present administration. Right, I mean, right. When it comes down to it'll it, it'll be like Bill Clinton again, too. Yes. You know, and I'm thinking when it comes down to, to the bottom line, there is no line. I mean, you, for me, it's got to be Trump. We need a change in this country, and I think he's that. Well, let's say no, this before we go tomorrow. Funny. Ray Johns yeah. is starting a show on Central Valley Talk. What day is you it? You are? Tomorrow at 4 o'clock. I'm so excited about it. So if you, don't, if you don't like what he's saying now, you can call in, right? Absolutely. You yell I, at him, whatever you want. Your it's voice doesn't game. have to be my voice. I'd like for the, the title of the show to be Voices Not Yet Heard. Well, that is awesome. So what kind of a show are you going to have? Politics, obviously. Mostly. Most or is of it a, about Trump? Well, I'm always going to push Trump. I'm, I push Trump in the streets. It's so the I'm Trump show with Ray Johns. <laughs> This is a great forum for me to push some, <laughs> something that I really believe. In. Sorry, you know, up until this point, I have to tell you, every year for voting, and I voted every single year of my life yeah, since I was count. 18 years old, and yeah. I take a lot of pride in that. I'm, a, you know, I'm very proud of this country and very proud of being an American. You know, and I've always voted. This is the first year of my life that I've been so excited about a political race. Yeah. Well, yeah. A lot, it it is a exciting. lot of new people yeah. in. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to it. So it prob it's going to be mostly politics. But I'd like to talk about a lot of things. This, the, the transgender thing that's gripping this country, I'd like to talk about that. I would like to talk about Jason Riley. I, it, most people don't know who Jason he is. Jason Riley. I'll, just, I'll give you a brief thing. He is a columnist with the, the Wall Street Journal. Do you like him? Well, I do. He's, a, he's an African-American. He's a very conservative Republican, as yep. am I. Okay. And he was invited to speak at a university, and I'll talk about that later. Cool. But, and, and when they found out, when the... Actually, what happened was the pre the head of the 
I think it was the finance department invited him, okay? And then he was worried about what the African-American students were going to think because he's written this very controversial book, oh. you know, about oh, how... Oh, it's a reader. Oh, it's a wonderful book. Okay. It's, it's, it's basically about how liberalism has held African-Americans back, like the welfare programs and that. It's a great book. You, I recommend it. I'm going to bring it on the show. Are African-Americans liberal, would you say? Most? Yes, absolutely. Interesting. Absolutely. So this is unusual mm -hmm. yes. that you, being an African-American, well, are now, for though. Trump. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of us. Interesting. Very interesting. This is going to be a good show. I hope so. I hope, I hope what do you think about this idea, Seth? And that's one thing I didn't like about this election is Trump, whether you agree with him or not, there's those people who said, oh, he shouldn't be heard and wants to stop him from being heard. And I would say if they tried to stop Hillary from speaking and Absolutely. Bernie speaking, what kind of country are we where we say, oh, I don't agree with you, so you can't be heard now? Or, or that's the kind of country that goes and gets books they don't agree <coughs> with and they start burning the books. Exactly. You know, so you everybody know, should be able to be heard regardless. That, that's the thing about Jason Riley. I mean, had they have invited the someone controversially like Farrakhan or I can't think of the guy with the hair all over his head. You probably oh, uh, Sharpton. Yeah. Oh. Had they invited him, I met him been, in Las Vegas. He was crazy. Yeah, he's more than that. But I, yeah. <laughs> with his crazy <laughs> hair. But he would have been in. There would have been any problem yeah. had they have invited this man. Yes. But they invite a controversial African American who happens to be conservative. Yes. You know, and they don't want to hear his views. Well, now, that how would be side, amazing because what, it's so unusual. What amazes me about all of this is. It looks like we're allowing the students to dictate to the faculty and the administration the policies of that institution. Yeah. I think that's true. Now, what do you think? Uh, is there talk about Condoleezza Rice being a uh, vice president with Trump? You know, th it is has been. Really? A, by the way, Condoleezza Rice was. That would be something. Condoleezza Rice was supposed to be the keynote speaker at the comm commencement of Rutgers. The same thing happened. Mm. The students went into protest, mm. and she's such a gracious lady. Sorry. She's such a gracious lady that she said, you know, this is all about the students. I'm going to back out. I don't want their day to be a day of protest. I want this to be the day that they remember. What a great lady to say that. And as to your question, Mike, I think she would make a great, great vice president. My prediction is that Trump will pick a woman for her I ticket. I think so, too. And people say, oh, Hillary will pick a woman. She won't pick a woman. No. Trump I predict, almost no. has politics, I, agree with you, I know politics. No She's going to pick anything, somebody from Ohio or Pennsylvania or Florida. What about Sarah Palin? <laughs> no. I would say no. Even Trump's not Tina that crazy. Faye, yeah. Tina Fey. Tina Fey. Tina Fey, yeah. I think that might have been a big mistake that McCain made yeah. a long time ago. But, but you know, it's, Sarah it's Palin, though, I have to say, she's kind of like, she reminds me of Trump. She's kind she's of a, a character. Lot like Trump, yes. And then when you listen to her, you're like, you know what? She makes a lot of sense. You know what I thought was really funny? It was on Good Morning America. I think it was an attack ad that Hillary has about Trump right now. Have you seen it? No. The people that are like imitating his voice. There were oh, wait, I have seen in the hair like and all the that. It's the latest see. attack ad. Yeah. And they were saying that like, you know, he, well, she was saying Trump is a womanizer and all this. And then he's like, womanizer, your husband, Bill Clinton, was oh, the most yeah. horrible womanizer Which of all time. Which is true. There, there are all kinds of accounts that the people don't know about that happened with Bill Clinton. No, you know, Lewinsky wasn't the only one. You know, oh, was, I'm so sure. Subtle. Oh, yeah. I know. It was uh, the singer who, Donna someone. She's got her own place in New Donna Orleans. Donna Summers. No. That was my guess. would have been my guess, too, when you said Donna. On the radio. Whoa. That's oh, the, I know this one. Yeah, that's I not know. the one that was with Trump. With no, 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 no. So. She's, um. Yeah, Jennifer Lyme. Flowers. Jennifer yes. Flowers. And then there was the one no, no, no. that sued. Jennifer yeah. Flowers. Yeah. That's the that's one. That's the one. That's and she one. ended up with, like, some I went to her club in New Orleans. Bar. I went to her club in New Orleans. I, I met her. too. I met her. I think we put her on the radio. What are your thoughts about the Trump and uh, Megyn Kelly interview? Wasn't that going on tonight? The, uh, last night. <gasps> last night. Yeah. And I, missed, I missed it. I missed it too. I thought it was tonight. I thought I, but they kept on saying Wednesday. Well, maybe it was. They showed I, clips of it today. I, I applaud Megyn Kelly. I think for it's reaching, tonight. I applaud Megyn Kelly, Kelly for reaching out to Donald Trump. I, I really heard do. she and, reached yeah. out. And I think that's a good thing. You know? Lauren, is it tonight or last night? It did happen, but maybe it's broadcast tonight. So, okay, I, so you know, they, it he, happened. He had her in a headlock in that interview. <laughs> I saw the clip of that. No, one. I saw her doing an interview with someone, and she said that she actually called him up mm -hmm. and said, "She reached let's, out." She yeah. reached out to him and said, "You and me, let's go." 
And what's interesting is she had long hair, and after all that happened, didn't well, she cut her hair? Her hair looks just like but Trump's. I, you mark my word. Look at her. She got the. I'm serious. She got the Trump haircut. We'll show that on next week's show. I gotta tell you, she's awesome. I'm looking forward to seeing your show and talking to you again. You're great. What's up with the cowboy hat? Well, I'm a cowboy. Always have been. Do you live on a farm with well, a, a let, cow? Well, I have a I have a wonderful horse in Oklahoma now. I'm in the process of pe purchasing a piece of property where I can have several horses. In Oklahoma or here? No, here, here. Cool. Okay, tell them when and where your show's on again. Yes, My I show, can't wait to see you. And I'm so excited about it. I really am uh, to be given this opportunity. My show is tomorrow, Thursday, May 19th, at 4 to 5 p.m. I hope you'll tune on in. On CentralValleyTalk.com, if you're watching on Comcast or Channel 33.2, Ray John Show and 40 others are on CentralValleyTalk.com, CentralValleyTalk.com. We're on 24 hours a day, but Thursday at 4 p.m.? Thursday at 4 p.m., May 19th. What's the name 19th. of the show? Have you figured I, that out Well, yet? yeah, I thought of several names. I think probably what I like more than anything else is Voices Not Yet Heard. Voices Not Yet Heard. I like that. So. Ooh, I like that a lot. What Voices is Lauren doing, doing this and going? Because she's saying like we're out of time. Oh, is that what that Catch means? Catch Ray tomorrow night from 4 Thank to 5, you. Central Valley Talk .com. What's the name of it again? Voices Not and Yet Heard. And we're going to have a phone line set up so you can call in. Yes, I welcome callers. That's hey, going to be Listen awesome. to this message from our sponsor. <clears throat> I'm going to point the right. JC's Lawn Service. The best lawn service guy around. JC's. Just call Sal. 